five minutes because my ego on the line. I can't let this young boy out debate me. He was not intimidated. I used all the verbal gymnastics and examples I could. He would not bulge. And I said, okay, I'm sorry. Give me a break. And he said, it takes a big man to say he's sorry. That night, after I finished that young man, I prayed, I stayed on the floor by the bed. I said, Lord, if you ever give me a chance to speak again, I don't care if it's one person in the audience, I'm gonna wear that one out. I'm reminded of a young guy who was on a bus, a little young fellow, and some kids were picking at him, some bigger guys, and they kept on thumping him on the head and hiding their hands. And so he got tired of them doing that, and he stood up so he would not be around them out of their reach. And they took him and said, sit down, and set him down. And he stood back up, he said, I don't want to sit down. They said, sit down, didn't we tell you? And they pushed him back down. I don't want to sit down. They said, sit down, and they held him down. And he looked at him, he said, you might hold me down, but I'm standing up inside myself. And what we have got to do is know that there's something about you, there's something about us, there's a power in you that regardless of what happens to you, you can stand up inside of yourself. I think that's what the port meant when he says, out of the night that covers me, black as a pit from pole to pole, I thank whatever gods there may be for my unconquerable soul. You have an unconquerable soul. Don't try to cut a bargain with life. Life is not Donald Trump. Life will not give you any special deals because you maintain a sense of integrity. You've got to do what you do because, not with any ulterior motives, that you're going to get some special benefit or some special treatment in the universe. No! Doesn't mean that somebody might not steal your car while you're trying to do some good for somebody. No, there won't be any special light around your car. They will take your car too.